poor Dianominos. He'll just have to miss out on on stuff. So you know, oh, snooze or lose. You should dock him whatever experience we make. I will. <laughs> I will dock him both experience points and both pieces of gold. <laughs> We're gonna solve two riddles. <clears throat> no, tonight's actually the action night. I know. <laughs> Ooh, Amy is second. Okay. Nice. So uh, let me put you guys in order here, and then I'll it's do the written. prologue. All right. Uh, Ezrin and Rexenor, not last. Tari's not last, but Lucky Lala is. No, I'm not. I got no, 16. he was 16. Oh, it didn't update. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Okay. So Tari is last. Tari is last. Good. I'm going to turn okay. How do you turn off the noise? What noise? Of chat. It's so annoying. I don't know what noise you're talking about. Like the boop? Boop. <laughs> yes, uh, that. There's got to be a way. To I'm sure there is. All right. Uh, uh, settings. Okay. All right, and we got airplanes in the background. It's amazing. We got the full ambiance. So, with that, welcome everyone to night twelve, I believe, of Theros Champion the Gods. Uh, you guys are on your last island, presumably, unless you make the DM real mad, and then we'll keep doing this forever. Um, hey, Nicaea, uh, we got some, we got Nicaea, we got Apostle, I didn't think Apostle was going to be here tonight, so we're doing great. Um, sorry, it took us a minute to set up. All right, so where we all are is <laughs> a very strange land, an island that you never even thought could exist, but does. The island of misfit monsters. <laughs> Last week, you all managed to meet the good guy and Bubbles and uh, his, <laughs> his group of misfit mo monsters. Um, I, I, would, I would like to remind the DM of the most important character we ran across. Yeah, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Colin! <laughs> Colin! <laughs> Hank, too. Colin and Hank and the reverse centaur. Uh, <laughs> Ezro. So, <laughs> who was very, very strange and kind of disturbing. Um, yeah. So, um, when you met with them, you parlayed because there was a procedure with the parlay and did that for quite some time. Uh, in in you you all were able to convince the group that you are indeed good people as well. They then told you that there is someone who sounds very familiar, someone who you, you all have had run-ins with a month and a half before, so still fresh in your minds when your adventure first started off. And she has come to this island and is trying to take it over for her own evil uh, thoughts and, and ambitions, perhaps trying to be an Archon again. The good guy asked that you all dispatch her or deal with her in your own way uh, as she is waging war on this otherwise peaceful island. Uh, let me ask this. Do you all want to start in the camp of the good guy or do you want to start by trudging your way to this, uh, he kind of gave you an idea of of their base. It is kind of an insert or like a like a cave, like a ruined cave, you might say, uh, on the side of a hill, uh, a couple hours march away through the forest. I see no reason why we should not just march there. Yeah, I agree with these. I agree. Let's keep going. Okay. So, um. Uh, sorry. Okay. Um, so, just uh, some metagaming. This map that you will be playing with is Tight Quarters. This is a, a map where things have fallen down. You have to squeeze through things. There is dynamic lighting. We'll see if it works or not. But please be very, like, take baby steps. Okay, 
Um, because otherwise you'll go through the wall and see things that you're not meant to see quite just yet. Okay. Um, cause unfortunately I can't control where you put your icon, but you could anyway. just create a goat see image and put it there so that we know not to travel too far. That'll teach us. Well, it would be every single wall. Yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> Every single building. Oh no, it's another goatsy wall. Oh, oh no, pub no. girl. So you all spend several hours. In fact, it is getting late in the evening at this point. Uh, you spent sev several hours talking to the good guy and his comrades, and then continued on marching. So uh, you're not quite exhausted yet, but it's getting late. And you're following this path that seems to be well-trodden, no issues, and you do manage to lose Dionomenos along the way. He wanted to just sit there and chit-chat with the rest of the guys, um, so he's like, eh, go on without me, I don't really want to do this uh, today. So he's going to stay in the former camp. He might catch up later, um, if you guys are here for a week or so. Uh, <laughs> but I need uh, you all to do a perception check oh boy wow <laughs> wow well um theodore and ezrin don't see anything <laughs> the rest of the group kind of stops and like holds the other two from walking and you're going down this path the sun's setting kind of to your left, and what you see is this this hill that juts up as the, the forest kind of gives way. It's a very thick, uh, rainforesty kind of place, and this hill comes up, and there's a sheer rock wall, and you see this towering, almost like a temple, that was built it, uh, from the facade of this... Um, from this rock wall and you can see some some pillars that have fallen down but you see this large door directly in front of you it looks very abandoned very dark except rexenor who does see familiar footsteps uh of humanoids coming in and out uh in the dirt uh from this complex and here we all are uh, don't mind Dionominos. Oh, that was not supposed to happen. Um, I do not see very far at all. So, here's my, my question. It has not been activated. Here's my question to you all. Your character sheets didn't say if you had night vision or not. Um, so let me pull up Theodore real quick and go through this. So, Theodore, you have a 10 foot radius light vision that you can see. Tari, I gave you 60 feet based off of memory. Is that correct? Uh, I believe so. Okay. That's pretty standard for dark vision. Yep. Uh, Rexenor, I gave you oop, five feet. You get 10. That's no, not, that's 40. Okay. Is that good? All right. Uh, Ezrin, I gave you 60 as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. And lucky you have, um, I'll give you 10 as well. Oh, <laughs> that barely lit up. <laughs> yeah. So, um, just. I, light, I would like to light my lantern if possible. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to move you all just a little bit. So directly in front of you is this large uh, arched entryway. And... Uh, let's go ahead and start at the top of the order with Theodore. I would like to light my lantern, given that it is very dark in here. Okay. Uh, explain your lantern to me and how much light it gives off. <laughs> I don't know. It is a regular-ass oil lantern that came in my pack. Nice. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, 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 uh. I'll say it's a hooded lantern. 30-foot radius dim light. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Bright light for 30 feet and dim light for an additional 30 feet. Hey, my... My stuff just disappeared. Uh-oh. Okay. Um... My roll table. Uh-oh. Hold on. Yikes. I'm gonna be on here twice, maybe. 
Okay, I'm gonna re refresh. I'll be back. Sorry, guys. Sorry, chat. Let's see if this works. Ten minutes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I accidentally popped. This lantern out. is a real, <laughs> really difficult to light. <laughs> I it's actually so popped the out the, uh, uh, the light thing, or the, the roll table, and then deleted it. Okay, so... God is dead, and my lantern killed it. Theodore, what were you... God okay, is how, dead, how much... and it's currently refreshing. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> you guys can't hear me, can you? Fucking hell. <sighs> there we go. Can you guys see me, hear me? Feel yeah. me? Smell no, me? No, we can't see you. We sure can, Tommy. Yeah, All right, you. great. So, uh, tell me about Thank your lantern. It is a hooded lantern, and it gives a thirty-foot dim light, and it, or sorry, thirty foot of bright light, and thirty foot additional dim light. Okay. Um, According to D and D Beyond. <laughs> so you said thirty feet of bright light. Yes. And then another thirty feet. Yes. I think that means it would be sixty feet dim. I guess. Yep. Oh, so. um, I have a different. I can set the dim and bright. All right. I can see. So, um, here you are. You light your lamp. <laughs> Use a little flint and steel. Light it up. You can see a little further now. What well, do I doing? don't think we're going to be very stealthy with a big, bright-ass <laughs> lantern. It's a shame that, you know, creatures that have traditionally lived in labyrinths underground are not able to see in dark <laughs> places. Um, I would like to move forward Okay. While very carefully looking for any sort of traps or potential gaped buttholes. Foes. Yeah, you can go ahead and do an investigation check, and you will see the occasional stop sign. All right, I'll well, walk a little bit further, and I'll do an investigation. I'm not great at it. Fifteen. Yeah. So looking around uh, where you're at, you you do see. A large statue right in the middle of this uh, rotunda here that seems to have collapsed. Other than that, um, he, there is some strange writings on the wall. Looks like some, maybe some doors that appear um, solidly shut. Do I understand? It's quite dark. Do I understand the writing at all? Uh, so there's not necessarily writing on the walls. Or the, what, you said it had signs on it. Okay, so yeah, you see different kind of pectroglyphs, some drawings okay. on the wall. Uh, with a 15, uh, they, they seem to kind of indicate uh, some of the history of this place. Um, it seems to be of a ancient type of civilization. And uh, perhaps... There are some items about, you know, the the secrets of this temple. Do I recognize the statue at all? Is it of any significance? It does appear to be of, um, oh God, of Aroas, but it seems to be a quite archaic version of him. Hmm. Aroas 1.0. Indeed. Well, I will... Do any of these doors have any particular... Can I, I... I'm not sure if I could pick a direction. I don't know. Do I get any idea of where... Fo do any... Okay, here we go. Do there seem to be any footprints or any sort of indication that there have been people moving through this area? With a 15, you do see that there are a lot of footprints. Uh, it's difficult to tell if there's individual footprints, but they do seem to be throughout. Um, if you want to do another, uh, an, one more investigation check for that, this will for the footsteps in particular. Fail, but I will certainly try. Yes. Oh. Yeah, you actually, while you're doing that, you trip over one oh. of the rocks that fell <laughs> off this um off, yeah, off the statue here, and you take one bludgeoning damage. Mm. Oh, I can afford to take that kind of damage. What <laughs> a boo boo! All right, Ezrin. 
Okay. Watch, watch that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> I would like to carefully make my way closer to Theodore. Okay. How far did Theodore go? Uh, you can. S- you should be able to see him. Forty feet. Yeah, I mean, you can move until you see a stop sign. Oh. I just kind of moved into the chamber. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so in that case, I, I did not want to see Goatsy, so I went slowly. <laughs> I am going. Um, I am riding on my steel defender, and you know, Doctor Calamario and Mister Kinky Clack is on my shoulder. I never got your photos, by the way. They didn't come through. Unless you send my stupid. Oh, there they are. Yep. Okay. Neither one. I sent two uh, Mr. Clickety Clack ones. You can choose. Okay. So, can I keep going a little bit farther in? I'd like to kind of go up to where these stop signs are. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> and I, I want to look around in this in this area if I see anything other than what Theodore saw. And just my homunculus is also flying around looking at stuff. Uh, you go ahead and do... Are you investigating? Sure. Okay, what exactly are you trying to see? Um, yeah. Well, I want to see if there's anything that could be useful for the one. Any little trinkets that I might build something with. And then I also want to see if there's any evidence um, that who we're tracking might be close Sure. Yeah. Go ahead and do an investigation check. Oh, I'm not rolling super well. Um, an eleven. Yeah, you don't see a lot. You see the footprints. Uh, Theodore also points them out to you. Uh, you see the statue. You see footprints kind of leading towards the wall, and then just disappearing or stopping. But there's so much chaos in the um in the area. You don't really get a sense of what exactly is going on with this place. Okay, and can I look at the wall specifically to see if it looks like there may be hidden passages? Uh, yeah, and with 11, you get a sense there's something here. I say, this is very strange. You all should come over and, and look at this. This looks odd to me. The footsteps end at the wall, but I can't quite figure that out. Mm-hmm. All right. Have, have Rexenor take a look. He's good at this. Sort of thing. Uh, and, but next up is Lucky Lala. Okay, I'm gonna kind of follow Ezrin and Theodore. Just kind okay. of move my way slowly up here. Why is this? Hold on, real quick. That is not supposed to okay. happen. Once again, since she said check the if there's any cracks or anything, I'm gonna do an investigation. Okay, you do I'm that. Check let me see here. What? Can I see anything? No! <laughs> a nine. You know, you guys are both kind of comparing notes and like, yeah, I just don't get it. I just, <laughs> something's here. Just don't get what? Uh, okay, let's see here. What could I do? What could I do? Um... Can I sense if there's any danger? Uh, yeah, you can do a perception check. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm also trying to get Amy's avatars here, so I'm a okay. little <laughs> multitasking. Uh, a 20. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. What? That big octopus thing. That scared me. I thought that was a <laughs> there, boom, that 20. There's a giant fucking octopus. <laughs> no, this is what Ezrin is riding. Um, oh, cool. I'll make it a little bigger for you. You really so well it. the ending of Watchmen. <laughs> exactly. I love it. <laughs> Which ending? The movie or the 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 good ending? Okay. Okay. The book. So, uh, perception check. You you don't get a sense of any immediate danger. You do hear sounds. You definitely get the sense that this is not the happy-go-lucky kind of a place that you would like to sit down and have a picnic in, uh, you definitely get a sense that this has some bad energy to it, for sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Produce Flame. Okay. 
it's a very simple spell. It's just a little cantrip, and it gives me an extra ten foot light. Well, the flame um, sheds bright light in a ten foot radius and dim light in a oh. another ten foot radius. So you can put it down somewhere, and then it would oh. kind of be a beacon or whatever. But it wouldn't add to what you already see because you should be okay. able to see. I see everything. Pretty well, you see ten film. feet. Yeah. I'll so it would it would give you an extra ten feet of um of low light. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast that and put it in my hand. Okay, so I will spread or I will give you an extra ten feet. There we go. Absolutely. I'm not, this blade. I'm not gonna is hold that. that is that right? You seem like you seem really far or you see really far away. No, I only have ten feet. Weird. Okay. Okay, uh, Rexenor, you're up. First things first, I cast Mage Armor. Do that. Because <laughs> this place seems creepy, and I need 15 AC for the next eight hours. I'm going to begin moving my way up. Okay. And 20, 25, yeah, I'll move right there. Uh, and I will now do an investigation check. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my Oracle's Insight to that, see if I can do better. Whoa. Okay. That is the homunculus. Be a 19 on investigation. Okay. So a 19, yeah. What you see is there definitely appears to be footsteps leading uh, towards three different directions. One is to the right, uh, the top right of your screen or of the... Um, temple here another one kind of to the top left and then directly to the uh there's two actually in the top left area where you all see the stop sign but your characters don't so uh with that also <clears throat> looking at the walls you see symbols that appear to indicate some type of mechanism mm. to open the doors or at least a door Do I see such a mechanism? Uh, you do see one mechanism, indeed. And this mechanism is actually right by Lucky Lala. He's actually kind of leaning against it as he's kind of, <laughs> you know, he has, his, he has a little hoof up on the wall kind of looking around not really seeing much but um actually he, he saw pretty well and so he's really scouting the place out but he doesn't see this lever right next to him i say lucky lala beware of that lever oh what what lever <laughs> oh i don't recognize these things i'm used to trees <laughs> but i think it may open a door we, should I touch it? <laughs> Let's let our barbarian friend get here first. Can I move a little bit? Hey, some shit jumps off. <laughs> <laughs> I so as, as you do that, Tari, it is now your turn. Uh, Tari is going to go ahead and catch up with these people. <laughs> your friends. Definitely. I'm going to come up this way. Scroll or uh, zoom in. Um, can I do like an investigation check and see if I see anything? Yes, absolutely. So I see shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, being a Leonin, you're used to the wide open spaces of this, of the kind of savanna. Not really digging these abandoned inside the mountain temples. So it's Sweet. dark. Not really super happy with it. But you do hear the conversation where Rexanor does see a lever that was right next to Lucky Lala. So what do y'all want to do? I would certainly feel like we should attempt to open this mechanism. <laughs> I agree. Can we check for any traps first? I was magic? going to recommend that. Check magic. Yeah, you guys can roll for that. Either one. 
Ten minutes to detect magic. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's a ritual, so. Yeah, with this, I mean, Lucky feels that this is there's some bad juju, but you're not in imminent danger. So if you want to spend ten minutes to detect magic around, you certainly if, can. Uh, if y'all want to look around and investigate the lever, I can certainly, you know, take a few minutes and cast it. Sure. Sure. Would Ezrin, what do you make of this lever? Investigation? Yeah, Ezrin might know. She's got, like, mechanical skills. <laughs> yeah, so... Trinket skills? I don't know. She knows she levers more than we do. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else do looking for anything? Um, or... I'm concerned by these footprints that lead to nowhere. Yeah. Do they lead somewhere? I so, don't know. I have rolled what, a one. <laughs> well, Rexanor does point out that there are these doors, or what could be doors, and that's where the footprints are going. So you do you open your eyes to that reality. Ezrin begins to look at this lever. It's shaped really oddly. It looks so there's like these um carvings in the wall, and they're all of kind of these martial weapons, spears, bows, um, swords things like that. Rexenor noticed that one of them kind of sticks out just so slightly um, of a long sword. And uh, that must be some kind of a compression lever to it. Ezrin uh, takes some time to look at it. I'll give you advantage, Ezrin, on this investigation, given that you're doing this for about 10 minutes. <clears throat> At 22, yeah. So you don't get a sense that it's trapped in any particular way. It seems to be quite advanced. Um, as you're, it takes you a long time to look at this, though. As you're doing that, Rexenor is doing an incantation um, and kind of chanting to himself quietly and trying to detect magic. The outline of this door um, directly next to the lever does light up, as well as two other doors um, light up as well. In your investigation, you don't see any other levers for those particular ones. Uh, only for this one particular lever. Should we try pulling it? Or should wait, let's wait till he's done casting a spell. <laughs> yes, I feel like after he's done with the spell, I think the next step, depending on what we find, would be good to pull the lever. The lever. Lever, lever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> yes. Okay. Data, data. Who wants to pull the lever or push I mean, it? It's more of a more of a compression. I will do it if that is required. Can I use a druid cast and just kind of use a gust of wind to push it? Oh. You can try. Sure. Okay. Let's do this. There we go. Because I can create small amounts of air and fire and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that worked. Poof. So, oh, I'm sorry, just I reading can't... it. Uh... Are you blowing air, blowing air on the lever? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just trying to see, like, okay, what is the, like, strength Thank of you. this wind? It can snuff a candle. It snuffs a candle. It can or, snuff or, a candle. Okay. So or a small campfire. There, you get this like dust that kind of wafts around it. But other than that, like everyone kind of looks at it like that's cute. That's Very cute. good. Uh, thank you for <laughs> dusting. Thank you for oh, dusting. It. I grab the. I now that the lever is fully dusted, I will grab it and activate it. <laughs> you do it. Yeah. Now that it's, it's it's very well dusted, I mean the the detail is amazing. It is a very beautiful uh, art piece of art in itself. Hey, that's cinnamon, I smell. <laughs> All right, so Theodore goes up and just pushes on it, and it compresses. And let me get into uh, my. Uh, I gotta like okay, what the hell? Hold on, I gotta find where I can. Why is it not letting me do anything today? Yeah. Okay. Fucking GM world. layer. 
Is that different than usual? No. <laughs> oh, God. You know, it's one of those nights, I guess. It's Where just like, one of those days when you just want to there wreck we go. shit. Ha ha. And you hear this... You, once you hear the... Comp or feel the compression, you hear this... And the door starts to slide directly in front of you um, and reveals a small hallway directly within. Curious. Hmm. And at top of the order, Theodore. Uh, do I make any notice of any sort of trip wire or other trap that I might might immediately be in front of me. Yeah, you can do an investigation check. It's going to be bad. 17. Hey, that's my you best. Don't notice, yes. You don't notice any particular traps, no. All right, I will step carefully. You, you do now see that the footsteps continue mm -hmm. down this path. Ooh. Mystery solved. That is a very thin passage to the north. Yeah, Ooh. and so you can... Tell well, your friends this, suitable. as they cannot see um, what you what you are seeing. So you can explain. I see a them. small room and a very thin passageway that looks like a, it would not support a a three hundred pound seven foot minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get stuck like a certain bear. Uh, there's also a passageway to the south. Does anyone react to that? Uh, I, I will move further in. Okay. And peer through this doorway to the south. I as, you, you. <laughs> as you peer through, you do manage to see a creature, a small, fluffy creature, kind of oh. huddled in a corner. Oh, no. Cute. It appears... I pull out, I pull out my great club. <laughs> No. I stop. Start blasting. Start smashing. I'm not blasting anyone. All right. I'm gonna move. Actually, so so you're just kind of peering around. I will urge everyone else to come in here, and so we can take a look. Do I see anything else on this particular creature? I mean, I can move a little further. Um. No. And maybe let me make sure that you can you see it. No. Okay, well, let me make sure you can see it. Um, boof. Can I move up and join our, our clan here? On your turn? Oh, uh, on your turn, yeah. Certainly. Okay. You can move up to, like, where they, yeah, where I, they I, all I've, are. I've scooted myself. Like, right up here? Bit, yeah, so. you can do that. Okay. Just so yeah. I don't use 25 feet of movement to get in, like, huh? Yeah. So, tar Tari was feeling lonely. Oh. Fluffy creature. There's a fluffy creature in here. Fluffy. Yeah. You hear uh, that through the echoes, and then what you hear next is a little scampering of feet, and Theodore, you see this little tiny fluffy bunny start running oh, no. towards you, and it is going to... What's that uh, noise? <laughs> I don't know what the noise is. Uh, <laughs> That's horrifying. That was scary. That was scary. <laughs> Some douchebag on a fucking tiny dick motorcycle in my neighborhood. Oh. I thought Andy was playing a, a sound of someone being mauled. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. Welcome to my neighborhood. <laughs> All right. It's going to go to bite you and get uh, 18. Uh, that oh. for a hit? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Ouch. All right. And then, so what it does is. Uh, it does two piercing damage, Ow. and then nine necrotic <gasps> damage. Oh! All right, I, will, I will use my blessing. Gosh, I wish it was in uh, roll twenty. That would have been nice. What? I don't have the book. I don't have the book. That's a mean bunny. <laughs> That's a mean bunny. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Yeah, I'm going to use my 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 unsullied or whatever. I need to add it to roll 20. I am fine. All right. Ouch. 
unscarred. When I take damage, I can use my reaction and roll a d12. Okay. Which is the most used dice in the entire game. I roll a five. I add my constitution modifier. And I reduce my damage by that amount. Uh, my con modifier is three. So I reduce that by eight. Okay. So you do that. How much? So it's uh, two plus... Nine, 10, 11, 11 minus eight. So three. 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 Okay. And then it's going to use its back claws, kind of jump ah. on its hind legs, and then claw at you uh, for ooh, uh, 18 plus six. So I presume that hits. Um, 18 plus six? Yeah. Is it Benuncula? Uh, you don't know its name. It's going to hit. And it does an extra six slashing damage. Oh, God. Is this the bunny from Monty Python? Apparently. <laughs> All right. Is it still my turn? Uh, no, it is not your turn. Um, so, Theodore, what do your companions hear as you're being attacked by this little vampire. Are you yelling? The bunny's not very nice! <laughs> <laughs> is is that some sort of minotaur slang? <laughs> right. I would appreciate someone helping me. Ezrin, you are up next. Okay, I would like to go. I hear that Theodore may need some help. He my oh. Now I can't see my steel defender. Oh, I can't move them. Oh, um, here oh. I can give you control. Okay. I was going to send my homunculus Mr. Clickety Clack up to okay. the top so he could see whatever he can see up there. Okay, so you, you should be able to move him now. Okay. Let me see how far he's. I have no idea where your steel defender just went to. Um, hang on. Oh, you moved it up there. He can fly 30, so he can go just a little bit more. Oh, I moved the wrong one. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. Do you want me to move it for you? I got it. I think he can move to about one, a little bit more. There. Okay. And I don't know. I, don't put, I didn't put a sight on him. Uh, um. Oh. He's got a um, dark vision, sixty foot. Okay, so he just sees a. Can he? Can he telepathically talk to you? Um, no, I think he's gonna have to come back. Okay. So, so he goes up there. Yeah, he. I want him to go until he sees something useful, and then come back to me. Once gotcha. he can. Okay. So then I'm going to enter the room and be like, "What is going on, Theodore?" It's attacking me. Get rid of it. Wait, is that cute little bunny? It's not. I mean, I'm bleeding, presumably. Yeah, you run in, and this thing is, like, just tearing into Theodore. <laughs> I mean, it's, like, as big as Theodore's hoof, but it is just going ham on him. It's rabid. Okay. Like, Theodore is starting, almost starting to bleed. This thing is so bad. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I mean, it did do, like, something like 25 damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I will go ahead and fire the bolt to the bunny. Oh. I got the 22. Oh, that hits. I feel like he has been converted to the wrong side. It's fire damage. Um, let me... Okay, so you did 8 to fire damage? Yes, and then I ordered my steel defender to attack. I okay. attack and... Protect Theodore and myself okay. and anyone who else comes in. So, Dr. Calamario. <laughs> Dr. Calamario. Okay. Uh, 24 hits and then four more damage. Yeah, four to force damage. All right. Yeah. Good hits. Does force damage like push the enemy back at all? Not necessarily. Okay. Nope. No. It's force in the way that a punch is force. I was just going to say, it's like a massive punch with his tentacles. <laughs> and he's got eight of them to protect us. <laughs> like getting shot with a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> Killed Maud. Although that might hold you back. 
All right. Anything else you want to do on your turn, Ezrin? I think that is my full turn with a bonus action. Yeah, so you come in and you you are right behind Theodore protecting him. Maybe you should him. move up a bit so pe- other people can get around. Oh, good point. Do you have movement left? Um, That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 would have been at the door where you were. I don't know if you can walk by it. It might attack you. Yeah, I only have 30, so I guess I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Yeah. All right, Lucky Lala. Okay, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. Uh, can I the here? 35? Uh, there is a... Hang on. Uh, there there, there is a wall right there. Whoops, didn't see that. I well, think I... the defender can go there. I'll stand behind her. Okay. Um. Okay, do I see... I see the rabbit. It's so cute! No, it's not! <laughs> so cute. Ooh, it's got red eyes. I don't like the red eyes. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, it's got I mixomatosis! Red... I see its rabid face, though, so I was like, oh, that looks evil. I'm gonna attack it. Okay. I'm gonna cast Produce Flame. Let's see here. There's a 14 hit. <laughs> uh, a 14 does not no, hit. I it it, it jumps hit. out of the way. It saw your um, flame coming from a mile away. Oh my gosh. Since I still have five movement, can I move over to the side? Or is that... There's really... um Yeah, you can go there. Um, I'll give okay. you three-quarter damage, which boosts your AC. So okay. It won't be able to attack you, though. <laughs> Quick question. If I was yeah. hiding my steel defender, can I go up its movement or no? If you were riding it? Yeah, because I yeah. was riding it. Yeah. So I think in that case, I will move up so I'm not in the doorway of anyone else that needs to get in. Okay. And then I'll jump off so that it's just next to me riding. Okay. I'm just kidding. Some- I'll say it doesn't produce a uh, attack of opportunity. Well, because I'm just next to it, right? I didn't pass yeah. it. Yeah. Your still defender did, though. Yeah. That's fine. Rexnor, you hear all sorts of commotion. Crap. What the hell is going on in there? So 5, 10, 15. Yeah, I see, I see the little bunny rabbit. Uh, no big deal, just a horrifying creature. What, were you trying to set that on fire, Lucky? <laughs> Try it like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Show me how <laughs> You need the rabbit to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um, oh no! Play? How could a rabbit ever be that next? Oh, Nat one. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> it tries hopping, and then its feet are like caked in blood Ooh. and fur from Theodore, and he slips. And the problem is, is the fire is coming from below, little rabbit. Oh. Uh, so I believe that would be fourteen, uh, and then I am going to step out of the way so that Tari has a straight shot. Uh, so 14 fire damage yep damn this this rabbit's looking pretty cooked Mm -hmm. all right tari you are up next uh so each uh square is five right five foot yes yes so what one two three four five oh wrong way do you want me to put you like if you yes please so uh, I can't quite you, see where you guys are. You were here, uh huh, or one up. I was like, she, here. Was, she was one behind me. So you were five, ten, oh, uh, fifteen. Dang it, uh, twenty. What's 25. your speed? Thirty-five. Thirty. That's thirty right there. Right. Um. Can I? Uh. Let's see here. Stab it. Yeah, can I, uh, am I next to it or am I, uh, do I have to do like a javelin or something? Uh, you are not next to it. And with your friends blocking you, you can't get quite there yet. Fine. Uh, can I do daunting roar? You can, <laughs> as your favorite. Uh, I will do that. It's a bonus action. Um, okay. You let's see here. Uh, that bunny rabbit needs to make a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom saving throw. 
Ooh, it got a three. Oh, wow. It's that zero sounds pretty two. appropriate. Yeah, so um, it's frightened until its next turn. As well it should be. Sorry, hold on. Let's see here. I'm just reading the rest part of it. I think it's just that, that it's frightened and it can't come near me. Throw a javelin at it. Well, I can't because you people are in front of it. Uh, you can shoot past us. I was told that I could not. What? You could throw a javelin past us. Yeah, you can throw a javelin. You said that I couldn't. No, you can't do a melee attack. <sighs> Fine. Um, I will, yeah, can I um, throw a javelin? Yes. Please, please get throw advantage, a javelin. Because it's frightened of you now. Yeah, it's true. Ooh, advantage? Yeah. It's, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Whoa! Nat gonna, 20. So long, little bunny. Die. <laughs> it's going to explode. Right. So. Good. It's going to be skewered on a stake above a fire. Uh, Ooh, what? 14? 14? What? Yeah. This... 14 times 2. <laughs> yeah, 14 times 2, so 28 damage. You take this <laughs> javelin and you throw it. Oh, and it... sorry. I didn't mean to hit that again. So, like, it just gets skewered, and it is perfectly on this thing. You can just start rotissing it. Um, <laughs> fire is still going, so. Yeah. Um, oh, and, yeah, there's fire. Ah, I'm trying to put that I only have three javelins left. Sorry. No. no you can reuse this that. one. All right. Never mind. I'm going to get a sticky note and write it. Sorry. Yeah. So this vampire rabbit is now dead. Ooh. It was a vampire? It was in... Well, after doing some investigation, I'll just give it to you since I said it. You get the sense that this was indeed a... With the necrotic damage that you took, you felt some of this energy just drain from you. And as it was draining you, it was starting to get, like, regenerated. But y'all came in and just, like, romple stopped on this thing before it could actually, like, regenerate for good. Uh, it does appear to be a vampire rabbit spawn. Ooh. I do not think you should eat this. Yes, I, I quite agree. I am going to burn it up its little corpse, though, so it can't infect. Uh... <laughs> I, of course, do not eat meat. Yeah, so this thing begins to cinder and I burn. don't eat poison rabbit. <laughs> it's not Good meat. job, team. Yeah. I was here for support. I don't <laughs> feel... It looks like a bunny, too. It's got ears and a little head. I feel like I want to move to make a little face in my lighting. The red eyes scared me. It's the fact that it was terrifying and tore me to shreds that scared me. <laughs> Is there another room down there? That'll do it. It bit me and it hurt quite a bit. <laughs> Something bit me. <laughs> I mean, I would heal myself if I felt like it. Right, I think I figured out how to uh, uh, subtract a javelin. Can I um, uh, take it out before Rexenor uh, makes it barbecue? Yeah, you kind of use your boot to scrape it off this javelin as its Ugh. charred carcass hits the ground. And... The fire cleans it off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It actually, it actually hardens the 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 javelin, makes it a little more robust than than your others. Well, there you go. Is it poisonous yeah. now? Thank you. <laughs> nah, burn that bit off too. Yeah, yeah, you just need some taters with that rabbit. I can grow potatoes. Mm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I have magic. Don't eat the rabbit. It's gross. <laughs> rabbit okay. skin. Um, I'm. <laughs> it's your turn, I'm, Theodora. I'll do a healing word on myself, I guess. Uh, I need to remember how that works. It's gonna heal me like four. So usually you can just click the the new, yeah. I was right. Oh. <laughs> wow! What a what a savings. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's see. All right. I'm up to twenty one. Woohoo! Um. Well, I don't know if I should lead the way because that hurt and I don't want to be bitten again by any sort of rabbit. What other passageways do I see in this room? So you do see, actually, so as um, 
the vampire rabbit turns to ash further behind you in the foyer the temple area the temple proper that you were in you hear the unmistakable sound of stone grinding on dirt similar to the same one uh when your door opened that you went through also to your to the kind of the on the map here the northwest you do see a passage uh there as well northwest passage yes i believe can i peer carefully into the main room then if there's some kind of sound in there um in the main room yeah go ahead and do a perception check I will try and remain stealthy if at all possible. As much as a giant bull like he may. Yes. Uh, so you're not um Yeah, are you are you gonna do a stealth check? I can. <laughs> yeah, not super stealthy. Not stealthy hey, at all. God, um, it's over here. <laughs> yeah, and you're trying to like creak. And like your armor and pots and pans and all whatever health hell else is like hitting you, and so you don't even like hear anything. You're so focused on being stealthy, you don't really hear anything on the out um, in the main area. Well, if I'm not very stealthy, I'm a, at least I would hope be aware that I'm not being stealthy. Um, I will. Let's see, what can I do? What's in my bag of tricks? I will cast heroism. Okay. Uh, let me look that up really quick. <laughs> uh, it lasts for a minute. Mm, I'll save it until I know we're in a battle. Okay. I will let someone else go first into that main room, but I will tell everyone I believe someone is out there. Anyone want to react to that? I want to explore this room more that we're in. But there's people out there, and they might come in here. <laughs> yes, did oh. you get the sense for how many? I can't tell. Hmm. Okay. But I believe one of the other doors may have opened. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra, it's your turn, I think. Yeah, Ezrin, you are up next as your group kind of discusses what to do next. Well, I guess, <clears throat> did Clickety Clack see anything worth coming back to report on? So, uh, Theodore, oh, um, your little Clickety Clack? Uh, mm -hmm. No, it's so he came back. Um, I'll just bring him back for you. And he kind of whispers in your ears, like, <laughs> and <laughs> and says that there is nothing up there. It is a dead end. Okay. Oh. So, hmm. <clears throat> I think the debate is, do we go into a room that doesn't look like it might have someone, or do we try to have an element of surprise and go into the room where we know there are creatures? What does the group feel? Mm -hmm. What was the question? <laughs> if we should go into a room that might not have anyone in it, or if we should try to have some element of surprise and go into a room that has creatures in it. Oh. Mm -hmm. A sneak off on them instead of them eventually sneaking up on us. <laughs> I think we should just see who's in the other room. <laughs> okay. I'm going to send my steel defender into the room. It was this oh. north room? It was the room that you guys left from. The main room. Oh, the main room. Yep. With the statue. Okay. I cannot see when I move my my steel defender. I have no dynamic lighting to see what he sees. So, oh. um, does he have night vision? Um, oh. yes. Okay, and how much does he? See? So that's like sixty feet. He can move forty feet, but he can see sixty. Oh yes. Okay. Can you see now? 
No. No? So you can move him, you just can't see through him. Yeah, I just see a, a blue box, so I can tell where he's at to move him back in. Um, but you know what? Okay, I, I am riding him up to a point, and then I hop off. I mean, I guess he might not even be able to get through the doorway. Can he? I don't know if this will work. He can go through the doorway. Okay. Can you see him now? No, I have to move me. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to fix the dynamic lighting. Uh... <laughs> oh, nice. Where is... Oh. Okay, how about how about now? Um... Yes, that looks to be working. Okay, sorry. Okay. And now I lost Mr. Clicky D Clack. So many things to keep track of. Okay, I'm going to send Mr. Clicky D Clack into another room to explore and then report back. Okay. So he's going to go off this way. I can't see where he's at either, but that's okay. Okay, so he goes up and um, he'll be back in a couple turns. And meanwhile, so my steel defender enters the room. I kind of stay. I'd like to be kind of like partial cover in the doorway. I, I want to stay hidden. Yeah. Let me kind of get you in the right spot there. Oop. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so the steel defender goes out. And uh, go ahead and roll a perception check for your steel defender. Okay. He's perception. He's... Let's go. Uh... Oh, two times four. <clears throat> oh, nice. Good. He doesn't that's, see anything. <laughs> that's the perception check? Yeah, five. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't see anything. He's still getting used to his metal eyes. He's like, um, oh, that one. <laughs> yeah, he's used to the, uh, the, the, uh, the ocean, sort of, I guess. <laughs> Just do the shot. <coughs> yeah so is that your turn Ezrin? I'm going to sit there and I'm I'm going to say a prayer to um, not Hephaestus but Karanos. not Karanos I'm going to say Perforos. a prayer Perforos thank you to Perforos to guide my seal defender and please help him work better because he needs to work on it and help me be a better creator of my seal defender Okay, I need you to do a D100 with disadvantage. <laughs> Since he's not my god. Because uh, you're not at a temple. And you're not um, Rexnor. <laughs> where you can just cavort with the gods at will. Um, also, Perforos is a bit of a joke. <laughs> wow. That's rule 20 for you. That would <laughs> never happen in a million years. <laughs> well. Two random funny. algorithm my ass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. A nineteen, actually, you do get the sense that um, your I... your steel defender kind of starts to shudder a little bit, and I will give you one more uh, perception check as as this like the divine energy does manage to just slightly do... course through them. Can you do one more D one hundred roll? I have a theory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's busted. It's broken. It's busted. No it's way. Busted. Oh, that no, got no, no. Oh, there busted. you go. There you okay. go. Okay. That's impossible. <laughs> no, busted. just exceptionally improbable. No, if you do it again one more night, if you do it one more time, it's a nine. This thing is busted. Okay, let's see. Okay. Well, jeez. Wow, you're oh, you're hot. Right you're hot with those D100s. <laughs> Yeah, so no. you got a perception check. Uh, what was it? 19, right? No, no, no. That was no, your... It was a... <coughs> 17. 17. 17. So uh, it kind of... Does it communicate to you, with you? Um, I. It can talk back to me. It can say things if it wants to. Okay, so it kind of... I'm over talk. here! Yeah, it's like, hello! Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, it is, it is... There's nothing here! No, it's more like no, 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 to report. I did not steal door. I hear something in the room. Oh, there appears to be a door open. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, 
Ah, si Thor is you, I would, I would ask you to program it with a better voice. I'm not sure I like that one. It's, I, I imagine more of a monsieur voice. You know, maybe I, I make him a little monocle and a little steel top hat. That yeah. sounds delightful. <laughs> okay, I believe that is my turn. I mean, I guess okay. I asked the group, shall we go back in this original room or should we go explore elsewhere? Another door was open, it said. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shall we follow the door? Well, let us check out this thing to make sure there's no one on this side. I would, I would ask, just in case there's more of those horrific rabbit creatures. Okay, Lucky Lala, it's your turn. Okay, before I move, can I just examine this room to see if there's any treasure or anything? Yeah, you can do an investigation check. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, what'd you get there? Five. Um, a five. Uh, yeah, you don't necessarily see much. Okay. Um, I will say, hold on for a quick <laughs> second here. Uh, divide by, I'll do five. You do manage to find uh, spread amongst the floor 90 experience points. Oh, yay! Yeah, for everybody? it's weird. Yeah, I wish everybody. it rolled higher. We could have got more. <laughs> okay. uh, otherwise, you do see the, the passageway further up. Okay, so. Oh, so there's two. Is there. Okay, so passageway like on the left here? Yes. Can I take that? Yes. Can I try to walk stealthy? stealthy? Uh, you can do a stealth check. I'm just... Okay, I'm going to walk it. 21? Yeah, you're super stealthy. Oh, this is where the little... Yeah, you do manage to run across the homunculus. I see your little friend. Okay, I think that's as far as I can go. Wait. I, did I... Okay, I can go one more square, I think. I can't tell where I'm going. Yeah, and I'll say, like, right now, if you guys aren't going to go into that other room, you can kind of explore a little more, spend some time here. Oh, can I examine this little room that I got into? Yeah, uh, you can do an investigation check. Okay. I know they can't see me, my teammate. Yeah, uh, Tara, you just got XP. What would I say, 90? 90. Cool. So, I don't... I think I see anything. Uh, a 10? No, you see some broken crates uh, seem to be really uh, in bad shape, falling apart. Uh, that's about it. Mm. Can I move just a little bit more? Yeah, sure. I'll give it to you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I think that's as far as I want to go. <laughs> so, as you come around this corner, you see this large glowing blue orb Ooh. right in front of you as the cavern begins to open up. Does it look... Can I do an arcana check? Uh, you can do Is an arcana check. Magical? Oh, God, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. Rexenor... Lucky Lala has been gone for at least five, maybe even ten minutes at this point, it is now your turn. Mm. You have no idea what he sees. Well, I had something else in mind, but I'm worried that Lucky Lala might be running out of luck. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, follow in his direction, I believe. Was it this way? Uh, straight north from where you are now. Yeah. Kind of. Well, here, let me fix you. Uh, you might have seen me leave the room. Oh, yeah. Because you're in the room with me. You're you there. were in the room with me. Yeah, you saw him leave. Yeah. I am. Is that, it's no, dark it's in here. Close. It's real dark. Somewhere. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see you. Oh, I was getting scared. I'm glad you came up with me. Yes. What the hell is that thing? I have uh, no idea. Is this within 10 minutes of us uh, finding the door and seeing that they're magical? 
I'll Every- say just within. Like you yeah. can just feel your spell waning. Yeah, so I, I still have detect magic going barely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So you do get the sense that this is a a, a magical orb of sense. Yeah. yeah. It kind of glows. Other than being blue, it glows uh, magical as well. Do you know oh. if it's safe? Does he know if it's safe? Like, I'll is do it- an Arcana check. Yeah. Don't lick it. Yes. 23. A twenty-three. This does not appear to be malicious uh, at all. Is it watching us? It does not. No, it does not appear to be of a like a magical entity in like a, it's not a sentient thing. It seems to be a magical orb um, that you've seen before. Magical orbs of this type um, are incredibly rare. They're usually provided by a some kind of a historical magical um, being or current magical being, and. They usually are either a passageway or a recess of some type. I'm going to cast message and I will put that up here so you can see what all it is capable of. Uh, There we go. I point my finger toward a creature within range and whisper a message, a target, and only the target hears the message and can reply in a whisper that only I can hear. I can cast a spell through solid objects if I'm familiar with the target and know it's beyond the barrier. Magical silence, one foot of stone, one inch of common steel. Uh, the spell doesn't have to follow a straight line and can travel freely around corners or through openings. And so I'm going to send it back uh, to Tari and say, I think we have found something. Please bring the others. Right. <laughs> Go get everybody. Sorry, I'm trying to deal with the minion. Yeah, uh, so I guess I'm going in gathering, and there's something that uh, Rexnor thinks uh, there that we need to attend to. Let's go. Okay. Wow, you went pretty far up here, huh? Yeah, so you all can huddle together. I will give you all the available... Um, steps to make your way up there as Lucky and Rexnor kind of sit there twiddling their thumbs waiting for everyone else to kind of show up. It's like <laughs> it's like traffic lights. I like traffic What's your method, lights. What's your method, Andy? I'm drawing an arrow. Oh, okay. I I right so Tari, do you want to move your character up there too? Is the red uh, light I don't know moved. exactly where So follow the going. purple arrow. Follow the I don't purpose. see a purple arrow. Uh, you don't? No, I just see lots of black. Here, let me go. Oh, wait, hang on a second. I might see it. Okay. He's like, how much more black could it be? And the answer is none. None more black. Go back to the rabbit room and then go up. The okay, do you see my steel defender? Okay, you're doing it. Yep. There you go. <laughs> yeah, as Ring sends to- back, the steel defender is like, <laughs> it's voice modulator is real jacked. Oh, I was just trying. I was trying to respect the stop signs and all of the crazy dynamic lighting. You should so make it Tari, like, Go ahead. I was gonna say you should make it sound like a renowned astrophysicist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I am going to murder you. <laughs> Oh, I so Tari, we about Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, here, I want to move you up just a little bit more. Um, Tari, it is now your turn. You managed to make your way up uh, a little bit. If you want, I can put you in the room um, so you can see a little better, not on top of it. Sure. So what, what you see, Tari, as you get in there is actually not just one orb, but three. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> She's just like, um, but wait, there's more. So, would that be uh, investigation or perception just to see what's going on? Uh, you, investigation, I would say. Uh, if you want to okay. like look and see what's going on with these orbs, um, perception to kind of get an overall sense of the room. Uh, as you walk up, Rexnor does fill you all in about his arcana check and this thing being, you know, some kind of a passageway or recess of some type, not necessarily. Um, a sentient 
being or beings. What do you mean by that? Like a, a some sort of portal to another place? I believe so, yes. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing we have these mechanical creatures we can throw into them. <laughs> <laughs> you get a thumbs up from Tari. Don't talk about Lucky Lala that way. <laughs> oh, no, I meant... Uh, <laughs> Deanomenus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he's fine. I throw him in the red goat seaport. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should Tari, we what do you, Tari, is there anything else you want to do? So you did, did you do your check? I I didn't know if I had to do an arcana or an investigation. My, both of them are uh, the same stat, so it doesn't matter to me. I mean, you do get the sense that... I mean, I feel like I've scraped the bottom of the shoe on Arcana. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I do an investigation then? Yes. That's an interesting turn of phrase, Rex. Right. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do advantage. That's fine. You got a seven. Uh, so with that, Nine yeah, I mean, it's a Malik. dim room, but there's these orbs in it. It's fascinating. Uh, can I pick up a stone and chuck one? Chuck a stone at one of them? <laughs> Yeah, you can do that. Uh, roll a dexterity check. Oh, this is going to be fun. Um... <sighs> Big barbarian energy. 17. Yeah, you pick up one of the stones that have fallen off uh, the, the, the stone work over time. And you, is any particular one you want to throw it at? I really like green, so I'm thinking green. Yeah, you kind of lob it at the green one right in the middle there. And you hear a clink. And then the stone just falls to the ground. It kind of goes into it, um, and then just you hear the clink, and then it falls to the ground. Right. Anything else you want to do in your turn? Well, Tari is uh, confused by these uh, laser um, uh, laser cat uh, toys, so I'm just going to step back and let you people figure it out. That's <laughs> magic people. All right. Theodore. Hmm. <laughs> Curious. I'm not sure if if this is a, <laughs> a situation where we uh... hmm. So the rock just bounced off of it or it went through it? It, it went into it. From what you can gather, you heard a clink and then fell to the ground. Hmm. Can I throw a rocket or just toss a rocket one of the other orbs? Yes. All right, I will do that. Do you want me to throw? I mean, I could walk up and drop it on top of it. I don't feel like I don't need to roll. Yeah, if you want to just go up there and kind of just drop it in there, you can certainly okay. do that. I'll drop one in the red portal. Okay. You do that, and you kind of drop it, and you hear this... I mean, it hits something, and then kind of... You you hear this, like... And then it falls to the ground. Not that loud. So, the middle one clanked, and the set, that loud one made a roughly noise. Yeah, it's more like... <gasps> we emptied the recycle bin. <laughs> I believe that was the sound of the DM's plans being thrown out! <laughs> Not yet. I'm about to ready to jump in. What about the blue one? Do I, what if I drop a rock in the blue one? Yeah, you can do that as well. Uh, and you drop a rock in it, and again, you hear a clink sound. Is there a noticeable difference between the three? Like the uh, sound? Between the green one and the blue one? The green, blue, and red, yeah. I mean, one sounds... Um, yeah. Like the, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do so a the... do a perception check. Okay. Seventeen. You get the sense that whatever the the rock hit in the in the red one uh, sounds softer. The other two sounded very similar. I believe the red one <laughs> has passed the the softness test. <laughs> sounds softer. Somehow. We used to call that the shaman oh. test. I don't know if we want to continue experimenting or perhaps even to try and use this magical orb. Is it affixed to the ground? 
Uh, they are floating just off the ground. Ooh. Nice floating. Very magical. And you have, you determined that these are some sort of portal. Now, should we attempt to use it? Would that be part of the to only us? way we're going to get to the heart of this mystery? But I have to first, Mr. Clickety Clack can go investigate it. Yeah. I suggest using this red one. It seems the most pleasing. I agree that it's a good place to start. All right, clickety clack. <laughs> Ezra, your turn. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go up in the. Oh, no, I can't see clickety clack. Here we go. <laughs> <sighs> Moving three things. Sorry, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow, and the artist is drawing it up, so he had a thought for me or an idea. So, uh, yeah, Ezrin, so you go into the room and see these orbs. Mr. Clickety Clack goes in the red one to go check it out. Okay, so he goes into the red one, uh, and you kind of see him go like get sucked in there. And um, and then he comes popping back out. Oh. Okay, I see. Well, what what happened with the clickety clack? Tell me about your experience. Tell me how it made you feel. And he goes, he goes. <laughs> and you get the sense that what he tells you is that it's kind of chilly in there, and he found paper. Oh, lots of paper. Mr. Clickety-Clack, would you mind going in the green one and investigating? Thank you, Mr. Clickety-Clack. <laughs> I like how it sounds like gizmo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get him wet. He'll rust. Um, that's it. He'll just rust. So, um, yeah, he goes in there and comes back out a couple seconds later. Does the very same thing. Like, and tells you it's cold and that there's Metal, maybe, um, paper? do a perception check with him. Okay, let me look up his perception. Uh, dirty 20, yeah, he rocks it. So he tells you that there, that there appear to be coins in there. Golden coins. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Someone tells one. me you're not going to tell us that. <laughs> yes. I'm just like, oh, interesting. <laughs> um, are there any other rooms, or is it just a room with coins, and the other one is a room with paper? What? Well, sorry? I ask him if there's any other, is it just like, a room with gold and the other one's a room with paper? Um, he goes... <laughs> he says, really, that no, it's just like, maybe a foot in, there's just this mound of stuff. Okay, and then I want him to investigate the last blue one. Okay. Uh, he goes in there doing their perception check. Uh, a 10. This one, he, he kind of is like... It's cold. Uh, he says it's it seems similar to the to the second one, the green one. <laughs> so it has... Oh, maybe it's got gold. Yeah. He just, okay. So if it's only, can I see... Can I have him, like, grab a coin and see what happens? Sure. He goes back in there, and he's, he's <laughs> starting to move slowly, because, like, the coldness is starting to, like fog oh, up his gears and stuff <laughs> and he comes out and there is one solid gold coin that he brings out and then he kind of like clinks to the ground there's mm -hmm. gold in there like clinks to the ground like he's unconscious he's cold yeah oh, he's, he's his gears freeze up so i can I warm him up to, um, cast mending on him Okay. End of my turn. <laughs> Restore him. <laughs> There's I gold like... in them dark, dark orbs. Well, I, yeah, I, I think we, <laughs> whether you told us or not, you actually draw, brought a gold coin out. So. <laughs> True. I say, Mr. Clickety Clack, this coin would become a part of you. 
thank you for your third of this, and I, I mend him. Okay. Lucky. Okay. Uh, do I hear everything that she just did? Yeah, that you, see? That you okay. converse. Okay. Right do you think it's safe for humans to go, or not humans, satyrs to go in there? I I do not know, but he was able to retrieve <laughs> the coin and did nothing. It didn't trigger anything. So perhaps he told me it's only like a foot deep. Hmm. Hmm. I, so I, do. I think it's too big for a satyr. So I am actually going to shape shift into Ooh, do a penguin. penguin. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that sounds good. Let's let's do that. A penguin. <laughs> oh, polar bear. He needs posable thumbs. <coughs> oh, but I can't carry anything with the penguin. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't. That's why I said polar bear. But that's too big. I need something about a foot tall. Well, baby polar bear. <laughs> so any animal fur, any animal was fur. probably fine. Okay, so what are you turning into? I'm gonna turn into a, a a monkey with that has a thick coat, like a furry monkey, like that yeah. one that went to IKEA. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go like in Fraz roommate in Futurama. So I'll just put a little. Yeah. So which orb are you going to? I'm gonna go into the blue one. Okay. Yeah, so you walk up That's to the blue just one. That's shifting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go, you go up to it, and you definitely get this. It's almost like a like a sucking kind of feel as it pulls in your arm. Uh, not like overwhelming, <laughs> like you're going to get pulled into it. It's just kind of kind of gross almost. Like gooey? What's that? Like, like ectoplasm kind of? Well, it's like a sucking in. Oh. Um, like a... Like a <sighs> kind of a thing uh and it, so like a vacuum it pulls you in just a little bit it is cold uh your ape fur despite being grotesque does manage to uh help you uh whereas you know it's not damaging in any regard you do manage to find like this large for the size of the orb it seems very large um like the space doesn't quite match the size of the orb as the size of this this hoard of of gold coins. You manage to like grab it and pull it out, and on the ground, clinking as you're like shoveling it, is four hundred gold coins. Yay! I'm gonna share it with everybody. Are All they right. magical coins or just just gold? Just. Uh, they're just gold coins. Okay. So that would be, we'll say it's a clean six or 70 gold coins per person, including um, Demonos. Thank you. Okay. Do I have enough uh, warmth to try grabbing more gold from the green one? I'll say you have just enough. Okay. I'm going to try it again, guys. <laughs> the green one. Bye. <laughs> All right. So again, very similarly, uh, you do manage to like find a large pile of gold inside this orb, and with this one, at the end of the day, there's about eighty gold coins for each player that clink to the floor. Yay! <laughs> and that's all I see, right? I don't see anything else, like a magic. Glide nope. and that's it no weapons or anything okay I, I come out and I'm like I hope that was worth it <laughs> oh, yeah. so okay, I'm done I need to rest Rexanor uh, I am going to go up and go into the red portal okay so you stick your arm through it again it's cold it, it's like you know, putting your hand in 30 degree, 30 degree water where it's cold, but it's not like damaging cold quite just yet. And what you feel is paper. It's round. You do a, do a perception check with advantage. There we go. 25. It is unmistakably the feel of a scroll or two. Actually, there's two of them. Uh, yeah. I will 
get them. Hey. So you pull those out, and one of them you've probably seen before. You you unroll it as your arm starts to warm up again, and this scroll is of obscuring mist spell. Obscuring mist. If you ever wanted to sell it, you could sell it for twenty five gold. The nope. other one appears much more um, ornate, much more cared for. And this one is a contagion spell. And if you were ever to sell it, it would be worth 375 gold. The contagion spell is a fifth level necromantic spell. Whoa. Um, you touch uh or your touch inflicts disease uh make a melee spell attack against a creature with your reach on a hit you afflict the creature with a disease of your choice from any of the ones described below at the end of each of the target's turns it makes a constitution saving throw after failing three of these saving throws the disease effects um, last for the duration and the creature stops making these um these saves after succeeding on three of these saving throws, the creature recovers from the disease. So you can do like blinding sickness, filth, fever, um, flesh rot, mind fire, Ooh. seizure, um, or a slimy doom. Yeah. For the moment, I'm just going to put these scrolls in my pack. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Can he inscribe them in a way, like like learn them? I, yeah, I mean, uh, it would take me a while to be able to use the contagion one. Um, yeah, well, five. That's gonna be a while. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll be a minute, but uh, yeah, I could potentially uh, learn these and add these to the spell book. But as a this is a question I have as a divinity school of divinity, do you have like is necromancy like not? You can still no, learn I, I can still learn it. Uh, I just learned divination spells easier and quicker. Okay. I thought it's like, you know, like in Baldur's Gate where you actually can't learn spells from another school. I yeah, like yeah. No, uh, thank, the, <laughs> thank the gods that 5e has <laughs> moved beyond that because okay. that would be very limiting. Yeah. Well, Dio Diomino's missing out. <laughs> I know. Oh, hey. She magic. <laughs> He wants to go hang out with Colin. That's fine. <laughs> All We're right. missing the Tari. Yeah, Tari and uh, Theodora are putting down the kiddo. <laughs> so, so so some gremlin in the corner. Down. What's that? Is Tristan down there with you? Mm, no. Uh -oh. He needs to go down. To yeah, he needs to go to sleep. Uh, all right, so Lucky and Rexon, or what do you do? What do, you do? The rest um, of the team are dealing with minions. Okay, can I see if there's any more passages out of this room besides the one we came in? Looking around, this seems to be a dead end. <coughs> dead end? Yep. Okay. Nicely done, by the way. Y'all did well on that one. I like puzzles, they're fun. <laughs> Well, what do y'all want to do? I'm just going to start walking back to the main room. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Rex would do. Whoa, 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 whoops. Stay on the path. Yeah, I will have... I, I will, I, I'll move you all back to the main yeah, I didn't room with the statue. All right. Yay. As you walk past the now just ashes of the vampire can I, rabbit can i determine if that statue has fallen over due to like natural like old like it's just rotting because it's like a rune or is it or did it fall over because of like for yeah. like a battle do a, do a nature check or investigation whichever one's higher nature's a little bit higher yeah, i figured no oh nat 20 yeah, you get the sense that this statue probably fell over along with the rest of the stuff just based off of age and neglect. So this is an old place we're in. It's very, very old. Okay. Version 1.0. Yeah, <laughs> it is a old version of Arois. Absolutely. It's been around for 
quite some time. And while, while he's doing that, what the hell, I will do an investigation check. Okay. Just to see what turns up. 20. Yeah, you're all back uh, in this big room. You do see a door that has opened up uh, as well. Let me kind of get your view. Um, <laughs> There seems to be a small passageway behind the door now. Hey, what about Rexnor? Can he can he talk to Eroas and ask her about this temple? Can he, uh, get... he can, certainly. Does he want if he to chooses to? <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll try to channel him. Okay, um, and you can just do that, right? Uh... I mean, I, I speak, read, and write celestial, and a god might deliver a message through me in my own or the god's voice, translated in any language I speak. Okay, so I will, I will first of all, you got to do your speech of how you're going to talk to him, and then roll a d100 with advantage. All right, so um, <clears throat> I would, I would sit there and concentrate for a moment. <laughs> oh, great Eroas, if you see fit to speak, and tell us. What has gone on in this ancient temple of yours? I would be willing to give myself as a vessel to channel your very words. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get uh, <laughs> Morgus or whatever his name is. Mogus. Mogus. <laughs> he intercepts the call. <laughs> I go, I go for the wrong call. God. Whoops. So a 13, man, you guys are rolling pretty good on these uh, D100s. Uh, I, I'm not going to do his voice because that's Lun. But uh, I, I, you do get this this voice in your head that says, eh, it's an old temple. Temples come, temples go. I get the feeling it has not brought him any glory in quite some time. <laughs> You do get that sense that uh, this island has been empty, devoid of life for quite some time. Other than when, then only recently did the good guy re-inhabit the island. So Aroas does tell you that. He's like, eh, you know, these guys all killed each other. It's all right. <laughs> Seems to happen quite a lot. Islands are tough, tough places. Are they? Islands seem ideal. Uh, ask the Easter Islanders. Um, Tari, y y it was your turn next. You all made your way back to the main uh, rotunda, as we're calling it. And you see that there is a door to the east that is open. Uh Do I have to push a lever or twist a knob or or the door, just, like the barge door, in. The door is open. Perhaps you right, should go I first. I would like to go there. Okay. So or, that sorry, would... Tari would like to go there. Yes. So Tari, so where is it? Uh, it is this away. Okay. One, two, or five, ten. Oh, there's a bouncing ball. Um. And I'll say that, like, I'll put you here, okay. and then you can have 30 steps from there. Okay, I was trying to figure out, because I don't know if this big uh, middle part is uh, passable or not. Yeah, I'll just put you over so. there. You guys have been walking around. Sweet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go 35 feet then. So 5, 10, 15, 20... Twenty-five, and can I? I'm just gonna stop here. Can I double, or can I check in on this? Um... Hold on, real quick. As you okay. walk in, uh oh, you see a large, two-headed giant sitting oh. at a round table, looking <laughs> at you. Is he going to invite us for dinner? <laughs> Or is he going to eat us? Yeah, is he going to invite us as dinner? So, <laughs> Tari, what do you want to do as uh, you walk in? 
I want to walk in and say, oh, hail and well met, my uh, double-headed friend. Um, <laughs> hail, hail, I'm new and here. well, well met. Or, Tari, is, uh, Tari is new here, so what's going on, my friend? And it says, one of the heads says, oh, hail and well met. And the other one says, you don't even know what. And the other one says, it's okay, I can say hi. What do you mean? You can say hi. No, you can say hi. Oh, hey, hey, and well met. Yeah, I guess. Hey, and well met. <laughs> who, who be you? Yeah. Who are you? What's your name? Uh, Tari is Tari. And uh, what, is, what is your uh, fine names? Oh, that's, a, that's a good question. Yeah, it's a, that's a right fine question there. Um... Well, it's, it's nothing special. M my name is the smart one. No, it's not. You're the dumb one. I'm the smart one. No, I'm the smart one. My name is the smart one. He's the dumb one. Okay, fine. I'm the dumb one today. <laughs> uh, are you here to play with us? <coughs> yeah, are you here to play with us? Uh, define your game. Oh, and he, they both, like, point and say, look. This is the game here. And you see, uh, do a history check with advantage. Actually, not with advantage. Just straight up history check, given that you're Tari. They are playing Uno. Tari. You see a board in a, a checkerboard type fashion Ooh. with white and black squares. All right. <laughs> Anything else you want to do in your turn? Uh, can I, uh, let me see. <laughs> it's dragon. Can I do like a, can I do like a nature check to see, or sorry, a uh, perception check to see, um, if they are, uh, uh, what's the word? Um, hostile. Yeah. Yeah. You can do, a, um, an insight check. Oh, I don't want to do an inside check. I do much better in <laughs> perception. Uh, you can do a perception check to perceive if there is hostility in them. Yeah, maybe you're perceiving if they have a giant weapon or something. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's what that is. What my uh, yeah. Yeah, so perceive so, they have a Gatling gun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, in your perception, you get the sense that. Whoever plays with them, if they lose, it might end badly. But you do see some stacks of books around, some, um, some shelves. So despite their outward appearance and rancor, they appear to be somewhat intellectual. Hmm. Right. Come here. Theodore right. feels akin to these creatures. Theodore, it is your turn. Ooh. Greetings. I will want. I will saunter in, having seen this. And they go, "Oh, well, there's more, you know." Well, yes, yeah. several of us. Where'd you come from? <laughs> How well, that's a that? very long story, but I could tell you if you really want. Oh no, we don't really give a shit. Why you come on in? Are you gonna play with us? What's the game, my friend? Oh well, fancy you ask the question. Um, first of all, what be your name? I am Theodore. Hey. Of Scophos. Oh. Yeah, Scophos is all right, I guess. Yeah, it's all right. Um, you want to come down here and play some chess with us? Yeah, chess, yeah. eh? <laughs> chess is... Am I, am I familiar with chess? Uh, do a history check. What's the one I with mean, the I'm not, I don't have a gaming kit or anything. History? I could do that. Nope. An eight. <laughs> no. Not really. What? How to? How does one play such an interesting game? Oh well, you see, there's these things called pawns, yeah, and those go up one or two, two for first, one for others. Um, <laughs> and then there's these called things called rooks, and they go forward and sideways. And then he goes through the different rules of chess. Oh, very interesting. I'm taking lots of notes. I'm not taking notes. <laughs> 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 Chess is what I put on my sandwich. Um, Do I have an idea of who might be good at this game in our party, apart from Jason? <laughs> uh, you get a sense that Rexenor, maybe. Uh, Lucky, good at chess? I don't know. I, well, I know how to play it. 
let, let, let me you, distinguish. Does your character know how to play? <laughs> yeah. Let me yeah. distinguish. Nick is fucking terrible at chess. Okay. Oh, I hell have, yeah. Lexinor I... has an intelligence of 18, so I imagine he's actually pretty good at it. I have so, intelligence 10. So to play yeah. this game of chess, you as a character should probably be good at chess. Yes. Is there... The character, not the player. No, yeah. you, both. Both. I Sorry. You that. as a player, as a human being on the planet Earth, should probably be good at chess. Yeah. Um, Can you use divinity to that. like predict movements? <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> I will discuss with the rest of the party. Is anyone good at chess? Not I. Hmm. Can I uh, see if I am? I, I'm not proficient, or like it's not a anything that I have on my sheet. But what's your intelligence? I'm a seventeen. Oh, see, I'm only ten. I'm more wisdom than intelligence. Yes. So, so maybe I'm only ten in wisdom. <laughs> Tari, are you interested in playing this game with our friends? Let's let's let the Rex do it. I mean, if y'all want us to lose, uh, Nick can fuck this up with the best of them. Hey, how how about this? So one of them, so y- y'all kind of start huddling around this table, and well, I'm gonna move. The the dumb one it's starts so looking at y'all and says, "Y'all y'all seem to be a bit trepidatious about this particular game here. Is well, that I right? A- yeah." They seem a bit tr- trepidatious. Rex, I've never, never heard of it. Chess. You probably don't have to play. You just roll. <laughs> no, <laughs> you win. that I can do. No, yeah, you got, you got to play the chess. If you want to win the chess, you got to play the chess. Yeah. Why well, so? So if you want us all to die, you know, I can take my shot. But uh, well, have you guys explored all the caves and stuff? Not quite. Well, how about you all go talk to my friend further in? Now I'm getting to a southern draw accent, you see. And then what you all can do here is just go ahead, because that's how the accents work here. Um, now, so, oh, shut up. And what you can do is just come back later, maybe when you got another party member, and then we can play chess. <laughs> ah, that makes perfect sense. I was willing to give it a shot, but what is the penalty for losing? Uh, at least one of your eyes. Oh, no thanks. Uh, I mean, I can create a prosthetic eye. That's not a, that's not a big deal. If someone wants to take the risk, I I'd be willing to help if you lose one. If, <laughs> does the eye have to belong to one of us? <laughs> it's a fair question. Oh, yes, it has to be in your head. Can I like spit it out? Can I find an eyeball, put it in my mouth, and spit it out? Does that count? Uh, no. You got, uh, No, it's like one of your two eyeballs I see right now. It's one of those two. I'd rather not have that on the table. It, well, if you so win, then you get my... One of my four eyes, you see. But I don't want your eye either. <laughs> well, maybe there's something else I can give you. Ooh, like what? I'm know. really not that interested in such an eye. <laughs> but thank you anyways... Uh, perhaps we should take his uh, suggestion and look around a little further. There's yeah. a nice little library you've got going on in here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's decent. I've read all them books. He <laughs> hey, isn't he? He's stupid. Oh, I'm not stupid. You're stupid. Could I potentially have a look on these shelves? They look interesting. Yeah, go ahead and do an <laughs> investigation check. Come on, seven. <laughs> Hmm. I, I was going to cast like enhance ability for whoever plays the damn chess. <laughs> so what if Dr. Calamario loses the eye? <laughs> I'll just oh. make him a new one. Is he going to play the chess? <laughs> yeah, he would have to play the chess. Um, so Theodore, you, you see lots of different books. Nothing of particular note. They're all <laughs> just kind of, you know. Romance old. novels? Yeah, there's a few. <laughs> He's got a minus three intelligence. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I'm... Yeah, not great. <coughs> Is that their name, Stupid One and Smart One? I didn't do a name for them yet. Okay. I that was, a, that was an oversight. 
They'll have a name next week. Quite all right. Um, perhaps <laughs> we should continue on in the hallway. Does everyone agree? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by no, the way, we, I'm, we, I'm still a monkey, and I'm just on top of Rexner's shoulder. So wherever you go, I'll go. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, I'm not you saying definitely, you definitely have the IKEA monkey coat, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I would fucking hope so. So and he says, "Hey, no, 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 don't you go back there. You can't go back there yet. Um, if you go here, yeah. and he kind of like stomps his foot, and you hear a another stone slide. He goes, you go back out to where you come from, and then uh, there, uh, there's the door there. I will get the accents messed up. God, I can't do like a stupid, yeah. e- stupid English accent without going into a stupid um, Southern accent." <laughs> anyway, so very well. Ooh. It's quite agreeable meeting you, friends. Yeah, it's nice meeting you too. We'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, we'll see you in exactly yeah. one week, probably. If you don't <laughs> die going further in, then we'll see you soon. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I can't we'll wait to. Soon. I can't wait to spectate a game of chess. As Tari is the last one to walk walk out, she hears, "Yeah, we're not gonna see them again. Yeah, they're gonna die. Yeah, they're probably gonna die. Oh, it's unfortunate. I really want to play chess. Yeah, I want to play chess too. <laughs> I mean, we would have played chess had it not been for the eyeball thing. <laughs> All right. So, um, Ezrin. Yes, I want to." Go up and explore this area up to my stop signs that I can go no farther and see what's in this area. I will follow. Their names are now Bert and Dirt. <laughs> Bert and Dirt. Dirt. Bert and Dirt. Bert and Dirt. Maybe if you had a name, you'd be able to assign a name or an accent based upon it. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're on Bert! What, Bert? Oh, you want go- Bert! Uh... Did I go beyond the stop sign? You cannot. What you Which hear stop at sign? the stop sign. You, no, you, you can go up to the. Oh, no, that stop sign. No, the other stop sign. Okay, I'm good going up to where I was. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So what you do, you. you, you let me see actually what you see. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check. Uh, let's see. Perception. Oh, that's a can- can uh, my steel defender roll perception or my yes. <laughs> Yeah, you got you can roll three times. <laughs> okay, I think they're both uh, two times prof. Yeah. Okay. Love. I gotta change their name. Now you you've got you've got to hold it above your eyes, not over your eyes. That's that's. Huh? <laughs> okay, six nineteen eighteen. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say the uh, eighteen. What would that be like? The homunculus guy. Yes, that is Mister Clickety Clack. Yes, yeah, so Mister Clickety Clack. And he says, "I think I hear waterfall." Whoa, that sounds exciting. Did Doctor Calamario? perceive anything higher with the 19 or oh we got the 19 um no he hears the same thing uh he hears like some almost like oh Oh. it's damn frogs again (laughs) or whatever they were in that one no he doesn't know he just hears some like bubbles it's the septic tank it's backing up again (sighs) i i hear (laughs) it's Or they hear something like a waterfall or the bubbles up ahead. I tell the group. Okay. Uh, any conversation you want to have around that, anyone? I will. I, as, as you may have guessed, Theodore is a frontline <laughs> idiot. So <laughs> I will step up. What do you, what's in there, Ezrin? They just say they hear the waterfall. I do not quite hear it. I, I don't know. I hear a lot of the clickety clackety of the, of my creatures, and it covers up the sound. Hmm. 
curious. But your waterfall and like a bubble, bubbling sound. They say. Mm -hmm. Does it sound like, threatening? Okay, I I ask them. Does it sound threatening, Doctor Calamario? Um, Doctor Calamario says. Yes, it's on phone. I don't know. Yes, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, real bad. Are you ordering a hamburger through a drive thru <laughs> Well, that is what that sounds like. Can I get a chalupa, please? Can I like uh -huh. ending on him? <laughs> My or comprehend languages? No. <laughs> uh, you can certainly do. You can spend some time fixing him. He's so fucked. <laughs> Um, <laughs> is your ice cream machine working? Sorry, it's broken. Oh, God damn it, every time! It's not broken, they're just cleaning it. Right. <laughs> For 16 years. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Rexanor, you are up next. Wait, what about me? Uh, Lucky's oh, up next. Oh, Lucky, sorry. Boop, okay. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to hop off um, Rexanor's back and kind of walk in here, run in here. Hobble in here, <laughs> whatever monkeys do. Um, <laughs> did we examine the room enough? Oh, no. you heard water. Can I go yep. over here? <laughs> they definitely aren't. Uh, yeah, you can go in there. Uh, Nothing. Yeah, not quite. Uh, you can do a investigation okay. check if you want in the little key. Little corner. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, whoops. Sorry, investigation. Yeah, 15. Um, you don't really see anything uh, in this room. There's some dirt and dead rats and shit. That's okay. about it. Is there anything I can climb on? Because as a, as a monkey, I can climb actually up to 30 feet high. You know, the ceiling's only about 20 feet high, uh, which is tall for being underground and all. But um, unless you want to just start climbing on the walls. Hmm. I'm going to, room. I'm going to kind of walk into the room where, um, what's your little clinkly clank thing? <laughs> Can I go in there? Clickety clack. This wants to be in the room where it happened. Um, yeah. If everyone wants to kind of oh, go wait, up wait, to wait, where you something. are, if everyone wants to go up to where you are and kind of prepare to go in, you certainly can. Uh, Tari, do you want to go in there as well? I will. Oh, Tari. Yes. Oh, okay. So, big one, which is everyone relative to me. So, yeah. So, Lucky Lala, uh, I'll, since it's your turn, I'll let you kind of do your 30 foot steps from that stop sign. From that stop sign. I would appreciate it if you do not call me Beefy. Beefy boy. With your big okay, beefy milkers. That's, that's as far as I can go. Um, so, oh, I see 35. I can go take one more square. Uh, that's all I see. I don't see anything. Actually, what you do see is further up, you do see a pool of water with a little bit cascading down into it. And you do see, do a, do a history check. Oops. <laughs> a six. You do see something bobbing <laughs> in the water. Okay. Not sure what the hell it is. It's bobbing. Disgusting. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, it might be apples. I think that's all I want to do for now. You get the sense that Bert took a giant shit in that pool, and that's what you see. Um, <laughs> it was just a baby Ruth bar. <laughs> I see a it is, it is not just cream that floats. We're saving that one for later. All right, Rexanor, it is your turn. Well, to quote the great scholar Thomas Wolfe, scum rises, or, or cream floats, but scum rises. Uh, I am going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I see this pool. I see a creature. I am also going to do a history check. Yep. Fucking 24. Fun. This appears to be none other than a turtle. Turtle? Oh, That's no. Going, right? Uh, Does yeah. it have three yeah. friends? <laughs> Is there a, perhaps a rat? In <laughs> Do I smell pizza? Um, 
You can do you not do smell it? pizza. Can I do an insight check on this creature? Uh, yeah. What do you? Yeah, just to kind of get the sense to of who they are. A threat. Rex yeah, and Arm, perhaps that. they're friendly, like our ogre, two-headed ogre. A, four, a 19. Yeah, you get the sense that uh, he's looking at you not terribly pleased. Uh, he doesn't hmm. seem to be as nice as Bert and Dirt over there. Bert and Dirt. Bert and Dirt. Bert and Dirt. Bert and Dirt. Good old Bert and Dirt. Oh, my God. I am. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh, I unplugged my earpiece. It's back. Uh, I am gonna cast. Message. Shit, I can't hear anything. Hold on. God damn it! Here, say something. Something. Ah, good. There I we go. It. Uh, I am gonna cast message at the turtle. Uh huh. Uh, and just say, "Hail and well met, turtle friend." And it can reply back, so it says, Are we just watching you like... <laughs> Interesting I'm, I'm, that it would reply in the same speed as talking I'm, voice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, kind <laughs> of stage whisper to the rest of the party. I hope you're ready for a long conversation. <laughs> I charge in horns oh, down. <laughs> Anything else you want to do during your turn, Rexenor? Uh, no, I think I'm good. All right, Tari, you are up next. Um, where am I? Let's see here. I'm at the back of the pack. Can I go next to Rexenor? Yeah. Or behind him? Yeah, you can go up to him. Uh, go in front of him. Yes, please. Yeah, so you do see this, uh, this <laughs> turtle up ahead, and Rexenor is like, hey, there's a, there's a slow-ass turtle up there. Uh, so Rexenor... What's going on? Well, this uh, total creature appears to not be thrilled to see us. And I think it's going to take him 20 minutes to tell us that. Right. Uh, so, do you think he is hostile? With a 19 insight? Yeah, you don't get the sense that he's, that he's very happy. Yes, I don't think he would be quite as welcoming as... Uh, I think he is more vampire rabbit than two-headed giant. Hmm. Um, can I uh, prepare an action? Yes. Uh, I would like to uh, put my hand on my great axe, I think is what I have. Okay. Uh, huh. And uh, get ready if... Um, so if uh, the turtle attacks any of my uh, comrades, I want to attack him. Okay. You are still 40 feet away. So let's see here. How far can I move? Uh, I will say that you have met your... Well, um, I'll say you can move another... You got 30 feet or 35? Uh, 35. So you can move up two more spaces. <clears throat> right. And then is that uh, far enough that I can uh, throw my axe? Uh, you got 30 feet left. <laughs> uh, so you got 30 feet between you and him. Okay. Okay. Cool. Theodore. All right. I will edge up closer up the hallway. Is there anything in this hallway? Is there? What does it look like? You can do a perception check. Looks does it like seem you. dangerous in any way? 18 you, it does appear to open up here there's multiple different kind of avenues um different pillars uh lots of different things broken on the ground there's earth coming through the walls um cavens for sure but nothing of any kind of magical or trap sense that you see excellent i'm glad there are no traps here i will hmm. I 
again, I will, I will shout at this turtle fellow. I am Theodore of Scophos. Identify yourself, mysterious turtle. I am Yurtslad. Yurtslad. Well, my Yurtslad. Yurtslad. Yes. Yurtslad. I will. Kill you. Kill all. us? Now, we don't specifically mean you any harm, unless, of course, you decide to try and attack us. <sighs> you always attack. What? <laughs> Have you seen a specialist, my on. friend? <laughs> <laughs> Have you looked into a respiratory specialist? <laughs> I can hold my breath for three days. An excellent talent, and I'm sure it wins you many bets. <laughs> <sighs> you be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Maybe perhaps that is... That means that my other turtles are able to hold their breath. <laughs> perhaps you should make this appointment with a <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm going to ask you, will you let us pass your Lodge? You now, is there any way is there any way I could persuade you to allow us to pass? Perhaps some kind of apparatus for breathing underwater so you might win a bet. <laughs> I breathe just fine. I have a companion here who could probably construct some kind of mechanical breathing apparatus. You could stay underwater for weeks. <laughs> I am not interested. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I am getting a, a vision of the future. You will stay <laughs> under the water for much longer than that. Uh-oh. <laughs> you may well. never come out. <laughs> All right. on your corpse. You don't seem a very pleasant kind of torto fellow. I was kind of expecting you to be a little more, I don't know. Even tempered, given your your disposition. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna turn to Tari and be like oh. Turtle Soup. <laughs> uh, and I will I will cast uh, heroism on Tari. Okay. What does that do? <laughs> I just know I have it. Ooh, it sounds like it would be good for her. There we go. Uh, uh, you are immune to being frightened, and you gain temporary hit points equal to my spell casting and midlenty modifier. Nice. At the start of each of uh, your turns. So. so, how many is that? I don't know. Uh, Five, I think. Sounds about right. Uh, cool. Five additional hit, po hit points every turn. And I will also <laughs> oh. I will also read a poem about turtle soup. <laughs> <laughs> Tari, and inspire you. 
If that is, if I have the action ability to do such a thing. Sorry, I was just trying. Depends to on how long, it. how much of my turn was taken up talking. No, that's duck soup. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you have just enough time to do a. An action, uh, bonus action. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Turtle soup by Marilyn Chit. You go home one evening, tired from work, and your mother boils you turtle soup. Twelve hours hunched over the hearth. Who knows what else is in that cauldron? You say, Ma, you've poached the symbol of a long life. That turtle lived four thousand years. Swam the way up the yellow over the Yangtze. Witnessed the Bronze Age, the High Tang, grazed on splendid sericulture. So she boils the life out. This poem goes on for much longer. I will. Yes. Drop it. <laughs> and, we're inspired. And you start seeing him go, like, just doing an incantation. Oh. And after <laughs> about a minute of this. <laughs> He shoots a magic missile Ooh. at you, Theodore. Ooh. For a My spell only lasts a minute, so I hope that it wasn't that long. For a total of three damage. And with that, we will pick up no! next time. I don't want to kill it. <laughs> Tari, you are inspired. Please remember. Yeah, uh, luckily chat uh, is saved, so you'll be able to see the heroism when we join next week. Um, yeah. Hell yeah. So you got to fight this Yertle the Turtle. Yertland. <laughs> Yertland, okay. I was wondering what it was trying to be. <laughs> what was Tari's held action that she did? Uh, Just she's swing at it. Yeah, uh, yeah. throw her axe at it. And what was the trigger, though? Like, would that be triggered now? Yep. So we'll do that at the beginning of next ah, gotcha. act. Next act. <laughs> okay. uh, is someone going to write that down? Because uh, Tari needs to use her axe. There you go. Put it in chat. Yep. There, both we did it. <laughs> Sweet. Cool, guys. Good job. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> <laughs> did my heroism run out because it only lasts a minute <laughs> no he didn't, week he didn't speak minute, for a full no. minute this is an eight day long minute right. <laughs> I thought he was going to go super saiyan he's like Kame <laughs> 30 minutes later <laughs> wonderful oh, right. I gotta use the bathroom so I'm Wait, I took up. three days hey, see ya. are we uh, doing the next Thursday I think we'll so. Let, we'll let Dean Noman else know, I guess. Yeah, I'm good for it. All right, cool. All right, see you guys. Have a good night. Thanks. Good night. Bye. Bye. All right, Bye. Everybody. chat. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna show you my screen. I love this thing. Okay. It's a little wonky with the delay, but whoa, look at that. I fucking love this thing. Anyway, um, so there's that. Cool. Well, thank you all so much. Are are you high? No, I'm not high. Um, it is awesome, though. No, I'm actually... No, I've been drinking. I've had a 7% from Odd 13, and then I am finishing a 5%. So, yeah. No, I'm not high. This would make you feel high, though, wouldn't it? Anyway, I uh, hope you all have a fantastic evening. We will see you next Thursday. If we see you before that, it will be Saturday where I will be in the mountains. Um, so our connection will be shit. I'm not sure if Thomas will be uh, doing anything, but uh, like stream wise. So have a great evening and we will see you later. Woo. Bye. Adios, auf Wiedersehen.